You know, we've been talking during the past year and a half, 501c3s, organizations that help animals, that help people, really have taken a hit. But you know what? Many of those are back, maybe back in a little different way. One such event, the Haunted Howl virtual fundraiser is back for the Friends of Strays, their biggest of the year. And we can't wait to check in with Mike Manganello, who is with us this morning. Good morning, Mike. How you doing? Good morning, Natalie. I'm doing really well. So let's dive right in. Of course, you were sure. saying before we got started, this is your biggest event of the year. Things look a little different. It is what it is. But what I'm excited to talk to you about, you've got some great items that people can bid on this year to benefit Friends of Strays. Yes, absolutely. Our virtual auction is going to run October 26th through 28th, so right at the end of this month. Um, and we have about 40 items that, that we're really excited about and that will hopefully help us raise a lot of money to continue our life-saving work here at Friends of Strays. Okay, let's talk about the uh, the anticipation of the event, sure. because I don't know about you, before I commit to things, I like to do my research, whether I'm just even online shopping, I like to know what I'm going to do. Any sneak peeks that people can get an eye on the items that they can possibly bid on at the end of the month? Of course, yeah. So we're a couple weeks away from the event, and over the next few weeks, we're going to be highlighting some of the, the key items that we're most excited for on our Facebook page. So I definitely invite everyone to follow us on Facebook. You can find us at Friends of Strays. Uh, it started this past weekend with a three-day staycation in Siesta Key because I think we all need a nice, relaxing <laughs> weekend by the beach this time of year. Oh, that sounds like one of the big ticket ones. Are you excited about that one, Mike? Yeah, we're very excited. The The property is beautiful, and it's a three-night uh, staycation. Now, of course, you've got like your big ticket item for people to bid on, but I know you've got a lot of other wonderful things, even things maybe for the home. What have you got to uh, to show us? Yeah, definitely. We've had a lot of fun the last few weeks. Um using our, our animals, our puppies and our kittens to make some I custom artwork for, for animal lovers to hang in their house. This was done by some kittens at the shelter. Aww. We have some more done by puppies and it's just a lot of fun for the animals oh, and it'll make a very interesting piece on someone's wall in the very near future. I love that. I go to abstract, so I might be uh, taking a closer <laughs> look at those items there, Mike. Yeah. So you talked about the sneak peek. You do need to register, though. Explain to people what they need to know about the process to make sure that October 26th doesn't roll around, and then they end up not getting that first bid if that was their goal. Yeah, so bidder registration opens October 18th, which, which is when you can basically just put your info into the system. So when the 26th rolls around and the auction actually begins, everything is done. We want to get as much of the work done in advance as possible. So when the auction starts, you can just sit on the couch, have a glass of wine, put on your favorite music, and just get to work supporting Friends of Strays. And bid. And bid. And bid. And bid. bid. Right? Keep checking that website. Yes, I'm that's curious. our goal. You know, we, we've already touched on this being the biggest fundraiser for you of the year. You know, what do you see a lot of people during this time of year? You know, it's a fun time of year. We're heading into Thanksgiving, people wanting to get back and starting to help others. Do you expect a lot of people to go ahead and register early? Or is there any little key components that you can point out there to make sure that people uh, can get in on the fun? Because it's more than just the bidding, of course. Yeah, we definitely want to continue to grow our community. We do a lot of work uh, in Tampa Bay here to, to save the lives of animals and, and pair families with their companions that they didn't know they were waiting for. Um, so, yeah, we definitely are all about community here, and, and we hope the, that everyone shows up on the 26th through the 28th to support us. Hey, Mike, and I like to end this segment, too, with a big exclamation point. If people have never heard of Friends of Strays before, can you explain a little bit in closing what it's all about, really how you are a life-saving operation for so many? Sure. We're St. Petersburg's oldest no-kill animal shelter. We've been here in, in St. Pete since 1978. Uh, last year, we adopted more than 1,200 animals into homes here in St. Petersburg and Tampa. Um, and we're all about making sure that every animal in St. Petersburg has a second chance to find a loving home. Oh, I just love that. And again, being able to shop online and know the money's helping a great cause, and nothing is better. Thank you so much, Mike, for being with us. Thank you very much, Natalie. Take care and best of luck, too. I'm sure it'll be a great event. I appreciate that. And of course, a big thanks, too, to our friends at Pet Supermarket. Whether your pets swim, crawl, or fetch the ball, Pet Supermarket has your pet's favorite brand.